Welcome back to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. Today we'll be looking at animation combination. That means we'll be combining various elements of PowerPoint all together so they can play at the same time or with the exact delay that we would like to be using. What you're seeing in the background is a slide which currently has a video and two text boxes on it. Now when we click, we'll be adding another text box, a GIF animation, and pausing the video in the background. Let's go ahead now and take a look at how we actually created this object. We're in our preview pane so you can see all of the content that we actually have. As I mentioned, we have all of our text boxes. We do have our GIF animation. We have our video. And then we have a navy blue colored box coming in over the video to really fade it out and make it appear a lot more subtle. On the second slide, we have all of our components already here available for us. And I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step on how to go ahead and create the same slide as what I just made. The first step is to add your video background. The next step is to use the playback option in your tools to tell it to start automatically and to loop until it's stopped. This will enable the video to start playing as soon as the slide comes into play. Next, we'll be adding our Welcome to Anatomy 101 text box. Now we'll be adding an animation and for this case, we'll just use the fade and make it take a little bit longer so it's a little bit more subtle. Now the next step is the important one because at this point, all you'll have is the actual animation happening in the background with the video playing, but you won't actually be able to see the text coming up above. You'd have to click in order to be able to see the text and now you'll be fighting with whether you see the text or you see the video. Make sure the video is always sent to the back and since the text is having a fade in effect, let's go ahead and have it happen at the same time as the video. To be able to do this, you'll want to tell the text box to start with the previous and then give it a short delay. Now let's go ahead and try this out one more time. And now you can see the text box coming into play properly. Now that we have the first text box, we'll be adding the same feature with the syllabus text box. Again, we'll be going to fade. We'll be telling it to play with the previous. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and move it so it plays after Welcome to Anatomy 101. The next step is a little bit trickier as this will be the step where these items fade out and new items come in. First, add the box that will be going over top of everything. And again, you'll be giving this the same animation of fading into place. Now this we are going to leave as a click for the start. The next items that we need to grab are the questions text box. Make sure that's centered and set to the front and our caduceus symbol. Now these two items will also be having a fade. and we'll be having all three of these happen at the same time. We'll have no delay between the three of those. Now something else that we would like to do, however, is have the Welcome to Anatomy and the Syllabus both disappear. To do this, we're going to add an animation of a fade and we're going to have them disappear. And we're going to do this with both of them. And again, this will be happening right along with the navy blue box coming into play, the questions text box, and the caduceus coming into play. So as these are coming in, those previous text boxes are going out. Let's go ahead and play our presentation from this slide. We can see our text boxes coming into play properly. If you click, it goes to questions with the caduceus symbol, and then the video playing in the background. Now if you would like the video to stop as we did in the first slide, Simply grab the pause and move it up. Now again, I'll show you that. The pause is set to be on a trigger. The trigger is when you click on the video. If you go ahead and just move it so it's no longer on the video and tell it to start with the previous, this will actually allow the video to pause whenever you would like it to after clicking on that rectangle. So let's go ahead and play one last time. All right, we have our content coming into play. 
and then we have the video paused. Note that it paused in the frame that it was currently on, so keep that in mind if you do end up creating a presentation using a video background that you will be pausing. This has been another tutorial brought to you by Presenter Media. Again, my name is Kara. If you do have any questions or a particular interest in this tutorial that you would like to see, you can either email us at support at presentermedia.com or you can contact us directly through our website at the contact link. Again, my name is Kara Jones. Thanks for watching.